Okay, this is a uh, review, and uh, this will be talking about the SI4732 based receiver. So this one does FM, AM, medium wave, and short wave, which also includes a single sideband, so lower sideband and upper sideband. So as you can see, it's a pretty small radio. It's um, <clears throat> about the size of uh, your standard pocket, so you can easily slip it in, carry it with you, put it in a bag, um, even maybe have a little carry-on case. Um, in comparison, I have a uh, an SDR Play 2, and if I sit that on top of it, you can see, um, in comparison, they're pretty much the same size. So, even if I flip it around, you'll see they pretty much line up um, together. So, um, on the front, you've got your... Uh, Buttons, they're all pretty standard, so band up, band down, volume up, volume down, step, um, AGC, mode, and BW. You'll probably learn more about those when you actually turn the radio on, rather than actually just reading it off the front. Um, turning the radio around, you'll see your connections on the back, and if we focus, so you'll... Uh, so you've got power, you've got uh, the antenna connection, which is BNC, so I've got a little converter. Um, you've also got your own off switch, and then there's another switch that got changes between FM, AM, and single sideband. Um, as you can see, it's on power at the moment, so you've got a little power light. If I was to take the uh, power out, then power goes off. But, turn the radio around, and turn it on, and she actually powers on, because there is an internal battery which I believe has been charged. Straight away, it's in uh, lower sideband mode, 8425 megahertz upper sideband, and uh, as you can see we've got a signal, pretty clear very little noise or anything like that at all um, the only issue with this radio is there's no keypad so you can't just dial in a frequency um, like you would with other radios um, furthermore there's only your uh, numeric display on the front and uh, as you can see the signals trying to compete with me talking so if we hit band up Alright, turn down a little, um, you can change your step, you can change your step to 5 or 10, let's try it at 10, alright, change the step down to 1, now if we change our mode, we should have a time signal. Um, you can change VW. There we go. Much better clarity. Now this is running off a W6 LVP magnetic loop antenna uh, with a powered inserter. Um, you can see that just off the background there as well. Alright, let's change, we'll go down, actually we'll go back to 8, now 8176 is marine uh, weather, so 8175, mode to uh, upper sideband, change our step, so it should be just there, um, now you can change your BFO, so we'll go right down to zero. And uh, in proxy, yeah, we've got about five minutes for that, so I think we'll uh, try something else and wait. We go to 6565, which is uh, Flight Watch. There's a station. 6155 megahertz. So, 
probably sounds like China, China National Radio. So we'll flip back to uh, our side band. Keep going. Actually, we'll change our step. So we want. Ooh. Okay, sometimes you'll find the band cuts off, so you've got to go uh, to the next band and then tune backwards. So it uh, takes a little while to get used to that. Okay. Six, five, six, five. So this is a uh, flight watch. So we should get some traffic on here at any given time. Um, BFO will need to be changed to about 175. Change our BW. Actually, I'll go back through to 2.2. And if we sit here for a bit, we might actually hear some uh, pilot chatter. And then if, in about four minutes, I'll uh, go back to 8176 and uh, we'll hear some uh, BMC weather. Um, this is early days with this radio. I've only actually had it for two days. This is probably about the second time I've actually toyed with it. Um, it's a little bit of trial and error, being that there's no manual supply to the box. Um, if you saw the unboxing video or photos, you would see that it comes with pretty basic... There we go. Um, turn her up a bit. Actually, I'll take the uh, AGC off. Might hear that a bit better now. Um, so the box contained the radio, a telescopic antenna, and that was it. No cables, no manuals, no instructions at all. Um, so I kind of had to search some boxes for relevant cables to power the radio. So the cable that you'll need, which I'll just uh, bring in front, is one of these. And if you see the end, you'll probably be able to identify that. Um, most uh, Canon cameras use the same connection. Um, up until the most recent models, I believe. So I had a few of these lying around. So I don't have it on charge at the moment because, as I said, it's running off the uh, internal lithium battery. Um, here, a pilot in the background there. Now, um, the bands this radio cover are FM from 64 to 108 megahertz. Um, also covers AM and medium wave, so 520 to 1710 kilohertz. It'll also do short wave, 2.3 to 26.1 megahertz. Um, however, with this one, it actually goes to 30 megahertz, and then long wave is 153 to 279 kilohertz. Um, band selections for this one at the moment that I can see. Uh, 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.2, 2.2, 3 and 4. Um, and then you've got your ATT and your AGC, which is to do with signal strength and the likes. So, as I said, this is just to show the radio and its operation. Um, we should be able to flip across now. So if I go back, here's 8176. Might need to change our BFO. I believe it's a zero at the moment, and in approximately half a minute, uh, we should get some meteorological, me some weather uh, information coming through. Normally, it's a decent signal, and uh, not long now that it should start up. As you can hear, there's very little noise and interference, which is completely different to what I get with my. Uh, ITL SDR play, but it also depends on what bands that you're on and also external conditions. Um, Alright, should have uh, clicked in by now, might be a delay. You can hear a bit of noise and the likes, a bit of atmospherics. 
Okay, it's there, but it's very soft. All right, we'll go down to 8113, which is another one. Nope, all right, let's go to the inherit beds. Not really there, so if we go down to 6676, Change our step. Nobody home. That's normal. 6679 is normally uh, New Zealand FIR. And 6676 uh, is normally Australian FIR. But uh, nothing there either. So if we go to another frequency. So. Let's try, say, 7385. So we'll have to uh, change our step. Flip through. So we've got a station there, but it sounds of it. Alright, let's flip through. Strike, Delta Base, Dr. Coda, NZ. What I will do is I'll send you the information to RNZ so you can post that information on how to protect your bike and also how to find your bike that's been stolen as well. That's a great idea. Thanks for joining us. Not a bad signal from, uh, sounds like Radio New Zealand. That would be the case. And headlines around the world, coronavirus leaves the news in most world publications. The All right, ABC so as you can see, a lovely signal, nice and strong, very little interference. Vaccine ...should be used on adults aged under 50 instead of the AstraZeneca vaccine. The European Union's medical regulator yesterday listed blood clots as a rare side effect of so the AstraZeneca vaccine. And the United Kingdom's vaccine advisors this morning decided to offer other vaccines to people under 30 such as the Pfizer injections being used in New Zealand. In response, the Australian government's top medical experts tonight urged a switch to the Pfizer vaccine. So you're playing with the AGC and, and staying in Australia, at least Sydney Morning Herald has the headline, um, more people are going to be riding the network. Public transport very restrictions little. set to ease. Really? Sydney's public transport social distancing restrictions will likely be eased in the coming weeks as the government... The only thing that made a difference was the BW. ...to surge past the um, coronavirus limitations. Which is, uh, Minister Andrew Cox I gather, says, changing the... Uh, would not be completely scrapped on the network, but he um. calls that as impending changes to restrictions. And the Daily Mail in the UK has a story on crops. The footwear that I is. may have to Google about that, to be perfectly honest. Of Australian celebrities have been seen wearing the quirky shoes in um. recent months, proving the mid noughties trend is making a comeback. What you needed to know that. And in the US, the San Francisco Chronicle reports, for many vaccinated people across California, life is beginning to regain a sense of normalcy. But health experts are growing increasingly concerned about the dangers to people who haven't yet been inoculated. California announced Tuesday it will discontinue its color-coded pandemic reopening system on June 15 and mostly reopen all sectors of the economy at or near full capacity. Oh, I'm not really I'm finding anything with respect to that, but I gather it's uh, like your, your wide and narrow that you can change, possibly, but as I said, it's early days with this radio, um, only having a, a recent play around, um, good little set, and it covers a, uh, a fair, decent amount of frequencies. So that's it for now, and uh, we'll probably try and pop back at another stage and do some more testing and uh, note down some frequencies that we can uh, tune the system into.
Murray Z National and it's time for the rest of history where we look at the week's news in the past. And tonight, Nelson Historic.